Yeah. And so what's a different project where you knew someone was going to be using headphones or they were going to be using a specific speaker system? Yeah, I mean, a different example would be um, we just finished up a virtual reality project for a an insurance company. They want to offer uh, like, quote unquote, virtual in-person talks with their agents, with their representatives um, that people... Uh, actually experienced through VR. So wow. um, a lot of these virtual reality headsets have gotten to the point where um, they can do like in uh, real time hand tracking. So you don't have to hold like funky controllers. Um, they even have cameras on the inside to see what your eyes are doing. And then they can create an avatar in real time that mimics how what your face is doing. So you can have a more human interaction with someone on the other side. So they can see you smile and see you like look left and right or whatever. Um, so they've they kind of like went out with us to test whether they can offer, um, you know, the, these kind of uh, conversations with insurance agents um, to, you know, about their specific insurance needs in virtual reality, so that maybe, uh, for example, they could have agents in, you know, one completely location independent uh, space, and then at their offices wherever. Uh, maybe not have as many agents, but have just a couple headsets laying around so people can just say, oh, you know, my family's about to go on vacation in the Alps and we want to go skiing for two weeks. And I want to make sure we're like insured for that in case little Timmy falls and breaks his arm or something like this. So we made this kind of fun, interactive experience around that. So you're not just having like, you know, a conversation, but in VR, for some reason, we added uh, an entire virtual environment. So if you, um, if you enter this conversation space, and you you basically have like a little desk and you can say oh you know what uh, what's our next trip to, oh we're going to the beach and you can select the beach or we're going to the mountains you can select the mountains if you select the mountains an entire 3d mountain world actually just appears oh, out wow. of nothing around you yep. and so i fill that space with you know a, a 3d soundscape with birds tweeting over here and you know the sound of a stream coming from over here and um, part of uh, part of the way we kind of made it a little more fun and a little less dry, just you know, we wanted it to be more about the numbers and the statistics and stuff like this. So while you're in the conversation about your mountain vacation, uh, we can trigger cute little animations that pop up. So uh, there's one where uh, you have like this comical tourist hiker guy who walks past you, and of course, uh, like I've decked him out he's his pack is rustling his you know feet his big yes. boots are clomping on the so ground that itself contains many different sounds yeah, exactly and they're all yeah. placed as objects on him uh, in virtual space so that when he's closer to you he sounds closer when he starts to get further away you hear him kind of fade into the distance right and then later he uh, so that he's like the example of what might befall you and if you're uh, on a mountain trip he comes out and he's taking like selfie shots of himself and you hear him like kind of out over there on the cliff and then he slips and falls down <laughs> wow. and then you hear the, the some some Man, nice like oh <laughs> plump yeah it seems like that would take a lot of thought and right now again as somebody who's new to this uh, I'm thinking, okay, well, the virtual world and the panning that has to do with that makes sense. But there's even this other dimension, like you said, like the proximity. Mm -hmm. And so what does that look like on a technical level? Like, So this guy, this character you've made up of many different sound effects, he's walking and he's over to your right. Okay, obviously, he's louder in your right ear. Um, he's maybe quieter if he's further away. Mm -hmm. But the software allows you then to set parameters for when he gets closer, there's more low end or there's, there's more. Yeah, so the, I mean, luckily, a lot of these tools are very robust these days. So I don't have to go in there and really dial in exactly okay. how it works. Um, there are a lot of different plug. They're basically plugins like you might have in your DAW. Um, and uh, depending on what you're creating and maybe what you need the plugin to do, you know, if you need like a simple compressor, you might not, uh, you might reach for one thing. If you need, you know, a, a drum compressor or a vocal compressor, right, you might like choose that one or that one. But uh, it's the same with a lot of these tools. It's like, oh, okay, well, we need, you know, a spatial audio plugin to make all of this happen in real time. Um, it's this type of project. It's going to be like presented on this device. Uh, okay, like maybe we would choose this one here and 
and oh, this one's uh, you know a lot more robust and a lot uh, maybe CPU and uh, heavier for the CPU. So perhaps for like this light project, we wouldn't use that one. These types of things. Some people, um, and I might be choosing just based on whether it sounds better or not. Um, but most of the the like real time algorithms that are taking care of how the audio is then manipulated so that it does sound correct when they come close or go far away, things like that, that's kind of happening um, in the in the software itself. And then you can add things like a reverb space so that when they go further away from you, they're getting a more wet reverb mm -hmm. mix that's just happening you know, automatically. And if they come really close, then it's more dry because they're right up in your face. Wow. So the, uh, this would be a good example because the guy's quite far away and you're in the mountains. So I added like some nice slap back mm -hmm. kind of sound. So when he, you know, waves at you and says, hello, you hear like yeah. that kind of mountain ping thing that's going on.